Today, I would like to share with you how to innovate and to creatively problem solve in any scenario by accessing what I call the universe of ideas. What is the universe of ideas? Imagine an invisible realm where every invention and solution to every problem in the past, present, and future exists right now and is available to anyone with the ability to access that universe. It is an intangible universe, but quite real and accessible to anyone with the key. Most innovators, inventors, entrepreneurs, and creative problem solvers access the universe of ideas in different ways, some by accident and some intentionally. Some people learn to do this. There are a number of methods to access the universe of ideas. First and foremost, there are a number of meditation techniques that I often teach to my clients that are very effective. Mindfulness meditation is also very effective and easy to learn. Deep relaxation exercises require some practice but are also extremely effective and easy to learn. Some people daydream and that works for them. Some people daydream just by accident. Some people listen to relaxing music or sounds like nature sounds that produce that deep relaxation or quiet mind. For some people being out in nature, quiet, peaceful and in a silent place is very helpful for accessing the universe of ideas. And relaxing experiences like showers, baths, saunas, massages, etc. You get the point. Relax. What are the requirements for accessing the universe of ideas? There are certain attributes that are necessary for accessing the universe of ideas intentionally. It is essential to listen with a quiet mind. Without judgment, objectivity is essential. Emotions are like static and make it difficult to hear and have a clear mind. So it's essential to set aside all beliefs and preconceptions. This takes practice, but it certainly is accessible to everyone. Beliefs are like colored lenses that filter reality. It is essential to set aside what you believe to have the clarity necessary to access the universe of ideas. It is also important to be open, open to whatever comes. You can discern later, but first be open to whatever comes. And flexibility. Be flexible. Don't preconceive, well, this is possible and this is not possible. Just be flexible. Solutions are always, always available. And then last but not least, you must be willing and ready to execute that idea. Because if you don't, someone else will. And if you don't, It'll be more difficult next time to access the universe of ideas. How do you condition the mind for innovative thinking? First of all, you must be relaxed. You must be open. You must be creative. Doesn't mean you need to be an artist. You just need to be open to creativity. You also must be accepting, not too judgmental. And you must be willing to express yourself, express yourself openly, express what you feel, express what you think, and express the ideas that come to you. And you must be willing to go beyond fear. 
Fear will distract you. Fear will stop you. There's no reason to be afraid. Accessing the universe of ideas is only the first step. If you want to create innovations or find solutions to problems in the tangible world, then there are certain requirements. Here are those requirements. Be able to access the universe of ideas and to consciously bring the idea back into this tangible world. Having the expertise to understand the idea and to turn the idea into a tangible reality. Having well-developed critical thinking skills and to be capable of discerning whether the idea is timely. Is it possible to actually turn this idea into something tangible at this time, in this place? Are the tools and technologies available or can they be made available within a reasonable amount of time? and within a certain budget. Being able to discern cost effectiveness, market factors, marketing strategies, demand, and other tangible issues are also essential. Remember, if you are having this idea, if you are receiving this idea, it is extremely likely that at least one other person somewhere in the world is as well. The universe of ideas is open and available to all, so if you want to be the first, you had better move quickly. Putting ideas to paper or into a computer is very powerful. It is taking something intangible and making it tangible for the first time. So if you are going to execute the idea in physical reality, it is important to first write the idea out and to include as many details as possible as they come to you. Writing is the first step in making something tangible. Some ideas are impractical, some are not. It's important to be able to discern the difference. To discern the difference, you will need to ask yourself and others many questions and use your critical thinking skills. Investigate, do your research, use your reasoning skills, review everything that you have discovered, review your research, analyze, analyze deeply. Is this timely? Is this innovation timely for your culture, for this world? Is everything you need available or will it be available within a certain time frame, within the near future? And it's important to look at return on investment. If you or someone else is going to invest in this innovation, there must be a return. Otherwise, they won't be interested in investing in it. Always remember that everything is possible with the universe of ideas. It is up to you to figure out how. The word if places unnecessary limitations on creativity and innovation. Always figure out how. Always use the term how. There's always a way. Here is the step-by-step -step process you can use to create new innovations. First and foremost, you must relax deeply. Whether you use meditation, mindfulness, relaxation exercises, taking a nap, a walk in nature, doesn't matter, whatever works for you. Then think about, contemplate the need, the problem, the task, or the requirements. Then let go of all of that and relax again. Then write out your thoughts in as much detail as possible as described before. Then relax again. Then discuss if it's appropriate these innovative solutions with others. 
it's good to get feedback if it's at all possible. Then write everything out, again with as much detail as possible. Then apply your critical thinking processes as described before. Then take the steps necessary to make it happen. However long that takes, whatever is required, just stay focused and consider the return on investment so that you can make this a realistic project. Here is a summary of the components you will need to include to successfully innovate and to solve problems with creative problem solving and the universe of ideas. First and foremost, of course, you're going to need the idea from the universe of ideas. Now you have a general outline of how to do this. I've posted more resources at the website noted in the next slide, and you can use those as you wish. Then you're going to need a plan, some kind of written plan. It could be a business plan, a development plan, or a marketing plan. Make it as detailed as possible, but be flexible. Plans change, plans are organic, but give yourself something to work with. What are the resources you're going to need? Do you need other people to help you with this or can you do it on your own? Are you going to need funding? Do you have that funding or are you going to need to get it from somewhere else? Do you, do you know where? Figure that out. And are there components to this that you're going to need to get? Figure out what those are, where you're going to get them. What are the actions you're going to need to take to make this happen? Create a simple action plan, step-by-step, -step, chronological, step-by-step. -step. Then what are the costs involved? Have an idea of what those costs are and make note of them. It's important that you understand this and that you're prepared. Revenues. Those revenues may be financial. Very often they are or they may be just benefits to someone or some organization. What are those benefits? What is the value of this? And does it have a purpose? What is that purpose? Figure all of this out. You can include that in your business plan if you like. And then do it. Do whatever is necessary. Stay on track, stay focused. Just do it. So feel free to contact me if you would like help with accessing the universe of ideas, innovating, and with problem solving. I'm available on an individual basis or to organizations as a consultant or a trainer. I've posted resources at the website noted on this slide. And there are links there to lots of other resources, including meditation and relaxation exercises and other methods for accessing the universe of ideas. Thank you. I hope this is helpful for you.